let's solve some problems here. At a provincial campground, 25% of the sites are for family tent camping, 60% are for family RV camping, and the rest are for groups. What percent of the sites are for groups? So the unknown here is the, si uh, the sites for groups. So we let X be the sites for groups. And the total percentage of everything is equal to 100%. Therefore, um, the total of the sites for family camping, tent camping, family RV camping, and for groups is equal to 100%. So let's solve for X here. So that would be 25% plus 60% plus X percent equals 100 percent and 25 plus 60 is equal to 85 okay plus x percent equals 100 percent and then we subtract 85 percent from both sides okay Therefore, the per percentage of the sites that are for groups is equal to 15%. So the answer here is letter B. Which number comes next in the following sequence? 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. So in this series or sequence, we just have to multiply the previous number by 2 to get the next number. So 1 times 2 equals 2, 2 times 2 equals 4, 4 times 2 equals 8, 8 times 2 equals 16, and so on. Therefore, we just have to multiply 16 by 2 to get the next number, which is equal to 32. So our answer here is letter B. Which number comes next in the following sequence? Negative 3, 9, negative 5, 25, negative 7, 49. So um, we can notice here that the numbers 3, 5, 7, or negative 3, negative 5, negative 7 rather, are odd numbers. And 9, 25, and 49 are perfect squares. And they are just the result of squaring the previous number. So the second number here in the sec uh, sequence is 9. And 9 is the product of squaring the first number, which is negative 3. Negative 3 squared is equal to 9. And then the third number is negative 5, which is the next odd number after negative 3. And the fourth number is 25. And 25 is the product of squaring the third number, which is negative 5. And the fifth number here is negative 7, which is the next odd number after negative 5. And the sixth number is 49, which is just the product of squaring the fifth number so that is negative 7 squared is equal to 49 therefore the next number in the sequence must be negative 9 this should be negative 9 which is the next odd number after negative 7 so the answer here is letter c Josie buys 2.4 kilograms of beads for $3.25 per kilogram. How much will her beads cost? Since it's given here that the cost per kilogram of the beads is $3.25 and Josie buys 2.4 kilograms of beads, we just have to multiply um, 3.25 by 24 
to get the total cost. So that would be uh, 3.25 times 2.4. So this is just equal to 7.8 dollars. So the answer here is letter D. The number of moons around a planet is five times more than the number of rings. Uranus has 15 moons. How many rings does the planet have? So it says here that the number of moons is, okay, number of moons is five times more than the number of rings. So that is five times the number of rings and in here we can solve for the number of rings uh, per moon so that would be for every ring you just have to divide the number of moons by five and Uranus here has 15 moons so we just have to divide 15 by 5. So number of rings in Uranus is just equal to 15 moons divided by 5. Therefore, this is just equal to 3. So the answer here is letter D. Molly increased her original score as a bowler by 20%, giving her a new score of 75. What was her original score? So the unknown here is the original score. So we can just let X be the original score. And we're given here the new score, which is equal to 75. And she got that new score by the increase of 20 percent so that would be the new score is just equal to the original score plus 20 percent of the original score now let's plug in all the values given so this is 75 equals x plus 20 percent of x so this is just 75 equals x plus point 20 x so 75 is just equal to 1.20 x and we can solve for x by dividing both sides by 1.20 so this is just equal to 7.5 over 1.20 and that is just equal to 62.5 since you are not allowed to use the calculator so you have to do this manually you can use long division so the answer here is letter C What is the sum of 3 fourths added 120 times? So we just have to multiply 3 fourths by 120. So that is 3 fourths times 120. And this is just equal to 360 divided by 4. And 360 divided by 4 is just equal to 90. So the answer here is letter C. What percentage of 135 does 45 represent? So we just have to divide 45 by 135 and multiply by 100%. Okay. Again, you can use long division in dividing 45 by 135. 
or you can redu reduce this fraction here since 135 is divisible by 45. So we divide both the numerator and denominator by 45. So 45 over 135. Okay, we divide by 45. This would give us 1 over 3. So you don't have to work on uh, larger numbers. And you can just reduce 1 third to 0 0.333 and so on. And then multiply that by 100%. So this is 0 0.333 3 times 100%. So this is just equal to 33.33% or approximately 33%. So the answer here is letter B. Every second, a colony of viruses quadruples its number. At a particular time, the number of viruses amounts to 655,360. How many viruses were there in the previous second? So it says here that every second, um, the viruses, a colony of viruses quadruples. So that is four times. And that um, particular time, the amount of viruses is equal to 655,360. Now to solve for the number of viruses that were there in the previous second, we just have to divide 655,360 by 4. And that is just equal to 163,840 viruses. So the answer here is letter B.